In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Today we are celebrating the Feast of the Holy Innocents. Even in the midst of this rejoicing time, Holy Mother Church invites us to recognize the reality of life that it is filled with joy as well as sadness. Let us call to mind our sins and pray for God's mercy and pardon. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and you are Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us our sins and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whom the Holy Innocents confessed and proclaimed on this day, not by speaking but by dying, grant we pray that the faith in which we confess with our lips we also speak through our manner of life, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, this is the message that we have heard from Jesus Christ and proclaim to you. God is light, and in him there is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with him, while we continue to walk in darkness, we lie and do not act in truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, then we, are in, and we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of his son, Jesus, cleanses us from all sin. If we say we are without sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we acknowledge our sins, he is faithful and just, and will forgive all of our sins and cleanse us from every wrongdoing. If we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. My children, I am writing this to you so that you may not commit sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous one. He is expiation for our sins, and not for our sins only, but for those of the whole world. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial song, Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Our soul has been rescued like the bird from the fowler's snare. Had not the Lord been with us when men rose up against us, then would they have swallowed us alive when their fury was inflamed against us? Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Then would the waters have overwhelmed us, the torrent would have swept over us, over us would have swept its raging waters. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Broken was the snare and we were freed. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Alleluia, alleluia. We praise you, O God, we acclaim you as Lord. The white robed army of martyrs praise you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When the Magi had departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in the dream and said, 
rise, take the child and his mother, flee to Egypt, and stay there until I tell you. Herod is going to search for the child to destroy him. Joseph rose and took the child and his mother by night and departed for Egypt. He stayed there until the death of Herod, that what the Lord had said through the prophet might be fulfilled. Out of Egypt I called my son. When Herod realized that he had been deceived by the Magi, he became furious. He ordered the massacre of all the boys in Bethlehem and his vicinity, two years old and under, in accordance with the time he had ascertained from the Magi. Then was fulfilled what had been said through Jeremiah the prophet. A voice was heard in Ramah, sobbing and loud lamentation, Rachel weeping for her children, and she would not be consoled, since there were no more. The Gospel of the Lord. So just three days after the celebration of this most joyful day, Holy Mother Church presents us with a kind of anticlimax, if we may say, a celebration of martyrs. Martyrs who were very innocent, did not even have a choice as to whether or not they wanted to stand firm, so to speak. We're celebrating all the boys that were killed because Herod felt that he had been threatened and that someone else was going to take over from him. And so the joyful mystery and the joyful occasion that we celebrate becomes a threat to someone's existence and someone's authority and someone's power. And he does all he can to get rid of Jesus, the Son of God. But of course, God's providence is much greater than any human making. And so even before Herod decided to do whatever he had planned to do, the parents had been ordered not to go back and to keep the child in Egypt to flee from the destruction that was impending. And so as we celebrate the joyful celebration, as we commemorate the joyful celebration, we are also reminded that right attached to this joyful feast is also the reality of suffering. And so just as Jesus' resurrection and birth and all the great things that the church provides us are in existence, getting there may necessarily or may entail suffering. And so as we, even in the week, the very first week of Christmas, we're thinking about the birth of Christ and a joyful event, we are also being reminded to consider the reality of suffering in the world in which we live. Suffering at almost every corner. And so we pray in this Mass for the grace to accept the reality, the reality of the cross and the reality of pain and the reality of suffering, even in the midst of joy. Shall we pray? For the church, that the Holy Spirit empower us in comforting those who weep and bringing hope to those in darkness, we pray to the Lord. For civic leaders, that God's wisdom fill them with respect for the dignity of all life, regardless of age, race, culture, or social status, we pray to the Lord. For victims of violence or hatred, may God grant them strength and healing, we pray to the Lord. For those in our midst in need of material or spiritual help, that the Lord will have mercy and provide for their needs, we pray to the Lord. For all those who have died, that God will welcome them into the eternal joy of heaven with all the angels and the saints, we pray to the Lord. For the special intentions for which this Mass is being offered, for our Christmas novena, 
for Teresa and Francisco Montri, and for the intentions of the Rosario Gravina, we pray to the Lord. God of love and power, we bring you our needs, our joys and our sorrows this day. Hear our prayers and answer them in your divine mercy through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, tree of goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my friends, that our offering may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Amen. Let us pray. Receive, O oh Lord, we pray, the offerings of your devoted servants, and purify us as we faithfully serve these, your mysteries, by which you grant justification even to those who lack understanding through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them by the dew fall, so that it may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, his spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, we say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us share the peace with one another. I was there, which all is becatamundi. Misere no hobis, Ayos de Hei, Vitolis Becata Mundi, Misere no hobis, Ayos de Hei, Vitolis Becata Mundi, Dona no bis Bahache. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. How blessed are we who have come to share at the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Our spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, abundant salvation to your faithful as they receive your holy gifts on the feast day of these, your saints, who, though still unable to profess your Son in speech, were crowned with heavenly grace on account of his birth, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless and keep you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Have a blessed day. Merry Christmas.